Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Yahweh is the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai is the world, and only cause Jesus Christ. Rakakodash in Paleo Hebrew is the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders and great millstone who bring the wealth of the Spirit, teaching His Word and believing His Word to the best of their ability. Lord willing, the Most High can continue to put in a spirit to endure. Mighty Shalom to the whole for elect scattered four corners of the earth, teaching his word and believing this word. Lord willing, the Most High continue to put in a spirit to be sincere. Shalom to the wives and the single sisters. As believers of this word, Lord willing, the Most High continue to put it on your spirit to pursue to be a loving and silent and virtuous wife. And Lord willing, the Most High have mercy on other brothers and sisters that's not in the faith. The title of this quick lesson is called The Wicked Shall Not Understand. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1 and 3. Verse 3 is the point. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright. Our life is short and tedious. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. For we are born at all adventures. And we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For the breath of our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. And the wicked think this life is short and of no other after, because they believe that nothing exists after this. The wicked don't even believe that it is a true power, a true God, a true almighty. I'm gonna hop over to Ecclesiastes. We just gonna go to the 12th chapter and we gonna read verse seven. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse seven. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it. The most high created this life. He created this flesh. He created the law, cities, and commandments. He created the creatures and he created the people for a purpose. When you die... We return back to the most high. Let's try Genesis 3 and 19. This is Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. And it reads In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for the dust thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. That's to just tell you, your flesh returns back to the earth, but your spirit goes back to the most high. People don't understand the true power of the most high is because their wisdom is of man and not the wisdom of the most high. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 10 to 11. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit is subject of all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, the things of the Most High knoweth no man, but the Spirit of the Most High. The Spirit will have to dwell in you for you to even understand the Most High's mystery. And the mystery is this flesh is temporary, but the spirit that the Lord put into you is eternal because he created it. If you really, really want to understand the ways of the Lord, you have to seek his face continually. And with that, Shalom.